Stereotyping. It doesn't only hurt humans. In this video, we're looking at all manner of creatures, be they mammals, reptiles, fish, or insects, who are commonly misportrayed or made the victims of unfair stereotypes. These animals are victims of damaging misrepresentation, not just innocent myth or misconceptions. Number 10. Pit Bulls the pit bull isn't actually a breed of dog, rather it's a label used to describe a variety of breeds that share common characteristics. And unfortunately, it's these very characteristics that led to their rep. While pit bulls can be trained to fight or be aggressive, it's not in their nature as many seem to believe. They do tend to be extremely powerful and loyal dogs, but in temperament tests, pit bull type breeds actually tend to score higher than many other common breeds, including golden retrievers, and chihuahuas. Essentially, a pit bull raised by responsible owners is no more aggressive than any other dog. Number 9. Pigs If your species name doubles as an insult, you know you've got serious PR problems. When a person is living in squalor, their home may be referred to as a pigsty. If they consume food over enthusiastically, they're eating like a pig. When men act without consideration for others, particularly women, well, they say men are pigs, which is unkind to the swine. Pigs are actually intelligent, social, and naturally inquisitive. Sure, they do roll in mud to keep cool, but outside of a pig pen, they're actually quite clean and don't poop where they eat or where they sleep. Number 8. Bees when you think of bees, you think of the stinging, but you should be thinking friend to humanity. However unpleasant getting stung might be, we guarantee that living in a world without bees would hurt a lot more. Bees spread pollen from plant to plant, promoting fertilization. Though bees aren't the only pollinators, they are the most efficient and essential of the bunch, playing a crucial role in the production of roughly one-third of the Earth's crop. And unfortunately, they're at risk of disappearing. So let's stop swatting and return the favor by supporting our little bumbling buddies. Number 7. Mice To be fair, this furry little mammal comes off well in cartoons. You've got Jerry, Basil of Baker Street, Fievel, Mighty Mouse, and of course, the mouse himself, Mickey. Despite such on-screen heroes, however, this little rodent continues to get a bad rap in the real world, or more specifically, in the home. It's odd, because when you really look at them, they're rather adorable, but when we spot one in the house, we freak out, jump on furniture, and set up traps. Take pity on these hungry little creatures. Should one find its way into your home, practice a catch and release approach. Number 6. Hyenas while mice get flattering portrayals in cartoons, hyenas not so much. Admittedly, as one of the African continent's most recognizable animals, they have a long-standing history of being painted as a sinister, immoral creature in local mythologies. From a modern perspective, the Lion King bears the brunt of their responsibility for painting hyenas in an evil light. However, when we look beyond the reputation and the admittedly unnerving laughter-like vocalizations, hyenas are packing animals much like any other. They are neither the clowns nor the villains of the African animal kingdom. They're clever creatures, impressive hunters, and caring parents. And number five, bats. You call them flying rats. We call them adorable. Bats have a nasty reputation, and you can understand why. They only come out at night, and when flying overhead, they can be very startling. Add to that their sine wave wings and pointy predator-like fangs, and it's little wonder why they got dragged into the realm of the supernatural. Yes, bats can be rabies risk, but so long as you don't go out of your way to touch them, they'll likely return the favor. Without these insectivores, we'd literally be overrun by bugs. Number 4. Snakes Talk about a bad reputation of biblical proportions. A fear of snakes, also known as aphidiophobia, is among the most common phobias in the world. But why? Well, according to some scientists, the fear is in our DNA. Those early human ancestors who learned to avoid snakes are those who live to pass on their genetic material. But in the modern world and in most climates, snakes aren't lurking around every corner waiting to strike. Should you encounter one, show it respect by giving it space. As you should any wild animal. The likelihood of an attack is very low. Stereotypes aside, they're actually fascinating creatures who help control other small animal populations. Number 3. Killer Whales 
That name doesn't help much. It's true that orca whales have killed humans before. There is an important distinction to be made though. No fatal attacks on humans by orcas have ever been documented in the wild, just in captivity. In fact, the few recorded attacks outside of marine amusement parks were for the most part accidental collisions or a case of mistaken identity. Are they superb hunters? Absolutely. But they're not man-eaters. They're actually incredibly intelligent, playful, social creatures that are a joy to observe and study, but only in their natural habitat. Number 2. Wolves Despite passing positive moments in the pop culture spotlight, wolves continue to feel the weight of their big bad reputation. From their roles in fables, which include eating grandma and terrorizing pigs, to their long-standing feud with farmers over just who those cows technically belong to, wolves have long been the villains. Now, we're not trying to pitch them as being cute and cuddly, we're just saying that they should be respected, treated with reverence, and appreciated as the majestic creatures they are. Embrace the wolf, just not literally. Number 1. Sharks The apex predator of the sea, the shark has struck fear in the hearts of a generation of moviegoers and earned itself a week's worth of programming on Discovery Channel every year. The shark is an oppressive animal and one that should be treated with respect. Like a pit bull, however, it's best not to generalize. Though sharks come in many shapes and sizes, they all share one thing in common. They're victims. Victims of exaggeration, demonized for their hunting skills. But sharks usually don't target humans. Some prefer plankton, and though dangerous, they can also be quite playful. So I really hope you enjoyed. If so, give a like on this video and share with a friend. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you guys later.